Galatians chapter 1, verse 8, Paul says, it says, but it, even if we or an angel from heaven, Peter uh, 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 was seen as an angel, preach another gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be anathema. anathema. Let it be a curse. The one we preach, the gospel we preach is that of Paul. That that Rome preaches is circumcision. That's why they're under a curse. All ministries are under a curse. If you have not married to the one that's risen, you are under a curse. I can tell you that with a sm smile or serious, I'm not bothered. If you are not in the 14 epistles of Paul, you are in Athema. You are cursed. You are preaching for your belly, for dishonest gains. Those tithings you collect, those offerings, those alms you collect in mass, those are dishonest gains. You are stealing, robbing God. So then, notice that Paul even battled with Paul, with Peter, in Galatians 1.18. It says, then after three years, I went to Jerusalem. To where? To Jerusalem. To see whom? Peter. That's where Peter was, in Jerusalem, and remained with him 15 days. In 15 days, you know. Listen, Peter, don't be offended. Don't be bothered with me. I have a different gospel. My gospel is that of the uncircumcision, and yours is circumcision. Circumcision is what Jesus told you don't bring to the Gentiles. So please, don't be a prevaricator, but you know that Peter wasn't going to let his arm be twisted. He was a prevaricator. He was the first prevaricator that exists in the Bible. But he knew that Paul was telling him the truth. And he says, well, I'm not going to have my arm twisted. I walked with Jesus. I'm going to show him I have reason. No way. This man is wrong. And he would speak with John and James. But since there were two, three prevaricators together, imagine. Peter, John, and James, three bandits, musketeers of the Bibles, the three men that cause harm to the world. Verse 11, Peter is bothered and he says, well, I, though they say I am upset or I am bothered, but I take, I am bothered. This is what I'm going to do. So then he goes and confronts Peter. Now when Peter, the prevaricator, came to Antioch, Antioch, I withstood him to his face because he was to be blamed, to condemn. He was an anathema. He was cursed. And if you read the rest of the verses, he calls him a hypocrite, a man in fear. What didn't he call Peter? So then finally, in verse 14, he uncovers the situation. But when I saw that these prevaricators didn't walk straight forward according to the truth of the gospel, finally, I said to Peter before all, listen, if you are a Jew, live in the manner of Gentiles, how are you going to mix those two things? Don't mix them. That is the Protestants' problems. They're, they mix the religious system, they use... These books, Peter, uh, James, first and second, third of John, Jude, Revelations, you can't mix those two with the 14, those books with the 14 epistles. You're mixing muratic uh, acid with coffee. That blinds you, keeps a veil over your eyes. When you read James, and the epistles of Peter, John, Jude, and Revelations, those are eight books that are contaminated by the writers uh, that are of the circumcision, that canceled gospel, that end at the cross. So if you don't know that, you mix them. In mixing them, you don't know what you're doing. You're bringing death in the pot to the people. How many more years are you going to do that? Plus, you have to study from Romans to Hebrews so that you can know what is the truth of the gospel. So you can see, so you don't mix because a little leaven leavens the whole lump. 